This is morning prayer in the season between Ascension and Pentecost. And during this season, uh, we join Thy Kingdom Come, which is a global prayer movement that invites Christians around the world to pray for more people to come to know Jesus. It started around 2016 as an invitation from the Archbishops of Canterbury and York to the Church of England, uh, and it's now grown into an international and an ecumenical call to prayer. Monday the 25th of May. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with power from on high. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Creator God. To you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation, pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This is Psalm 93. The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has put on his glory and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mightier. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And the canticle. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people and I will be your God. Ezekiel chapter 36. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading today is from Numbers 27 verse 15 onwards. Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint someone over the congregation who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, so that the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep without a shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit, and lay your hand upon him. Have him stand before Elisa the priest and all the congregation and commission him in their sight. You shall give him some of your authority so that all the congregation of the Israelites may obey. But he shall stand before Elisa the priest who shall inquire for him by the decision of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go at and at his word they shall come in both he and all the Israelites with him, the whole congregation. So Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and had him stand before Eliza, the priest, and the whole congregation. He laid his hands upon him and commissioned him as the Lord had directed through Moses. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God and children of God and fellow heirs with Christ, come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people 
Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your spirit and kindling us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. That from Romans chapter 8 and the Gospel Canticle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And in our short reflection, we travel in a journey through history, the history of prayer movements, and this is inspired by Pete Gregg's uh, 24-7 prayer manual. And today we recall the disciples in Jerusalem in the first century AD, where they all join together constantly in prayer, as it says in Acts uh, chapter 1, verse 14. And they did this in a room in Jerusalem. And the result of this was, of course, was the day of Pentecost, the birthday of the church, the explosion of the Spirit through his people around the world. So let us pray. And particularly we pray actually for five people this week, five people who uh, we wish to pray may know more of Jesus in their lives. And uh, so let us recall those people uh, you may only be able to recall one or two today. Uh, for tomorrow and the coming days, you may recall more. But let us recall those people and let us uh, bring them before the Lord. Perhaps they're in need. Perhaps they just need to know something of the light of God in their lives. Perhaps they need to know that they are loved by God. Let us pray for those people, two, three, four people that we have in our heads right now, that they may come to know the light and the love of God in their lives. And we also pray today, especially in this season. We pray through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us. And so let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of your peace. Send down now as the gift of your spirit and renew your church with power from on high. May peace abound and righteousness flourish that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and the protection of God, especially in this time of the coronavirus. And being made one by the power of the Spirit, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And the collect for thy kingdom come. Almighty God, your ascended Son has sent us into the world to preach the good news of your kingdom. Inspire us with your spirit and fill our hearts with the fire of your love, that all who hear your word may be drawn to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen.